The Instant Pot has certainly revolutionized many of the things we make in the kitchen today. And way up there on the list is beans, taking beans from dried to tender in less than an hour. So today on the Spicy Apron Cooking Show, we are going to make black beans in the Instant Pot. about you guys, but over the many, many years that I have been cooking, I have bought cans and cans and cans and cans of beans. I don't even want to know how much I have spent on them because frankly, to buy the dried beans and then soak them overnight and then put them on a stove for eight hours just simply did not work for me. I did not have the time to do that. You probably don't have the time to do that either. So when the Instant Pot came along, one of the very first things I did was to make beans from dried to done, and it took less than 45 minutes. So today we're going to make black beans. Now, I have rinsed these and picked out the ones that were cracked or split, uh, so they are all ready to go. There's not a lot to do with making great beans in your Instant Pot. Just simply dump your beans in and add water. Now, this is one pound of beans and I am adding about five cups of water. What you want is for the water level to be about an inch above your bean level. Now, a couple of things super important to know about the Instant Pot making beans, you always wanna add oil. This will prevent it from foaming and creating a mess when you release the pressure. So I just add one or two tablespoons of oil. This is olive oil. You can use regular vegetable oil. And then to add a little bit of extra flavor, I do a couple of smashed cloves of garlic and a couple of bay leaves. That is certainly optional. If you don't wanna do that, you don't have to. And this is a great time to add your salt to your beans. So I add a few big pinches to start with, and then I will add some more afterwards once I can taste them and see if they need more. Give it a quick stir and put your lid on. Now I'm gonna press the bean button and I already have it set to 22 minutes because I tend to make black beans almost all of the time and I always do them at 22 minutes. Now, if you don't know how to set your buttons to be the time and pressure and temperature that you want, that's actually something that I cover in my new Instant Pot video course. There's a link below if you're interested in checking that out. So high pressure, 22 minutes for black beans and then let them naturally release for five to 10 minutes. All right, the beans are ready. They cooked for 22 minutes and I did a natural release, meaning just let them sit there and let the pressure release on its own for about 10 minutes. Then I did release the remaining pressure and now we are going to check them out. And not surprisingly, they're perfect. Okay, so a couple of things about the beans. In case I forgot to say it earlier, you do not soak these beans. I just rinse them so they were clean and put them in, just in case I wasn't clear. And the other thing is, the texture of the beans, that's very much a personal issue. I do like mine on the firm side. And if you like them much softer, then just add three or four minutes to the cooking time or go ahead and let it naturally release for another four or five minutes and they should be perfect for you. Now let's scoop them up. Wow, would you just look at that? They really are perfect. Now there is obviously quite a bit of liquid in the bottom of the pan, which is completely normal. You can actually save that and use it in other recipes to add flavor and just use these beans either as a side dish all by themselves or in any number of other recipes. I plan on using these in some really awesome chicken burritos that I'm gonna to make tonight. So let me give it a very quick taste test to make sure I have just the right amount of salt. Mmm. You guys, they're so perfect. They are way better than canned beans, not to mention a heck of a lot cheaper. So enjoy making beans in your Instant Pot. I certainly do. It was definitely one of the very first things that I made in my Instant Pot and I was hooked for life. And if you want more Instant Pot recipes, go ahead and subscribe to the channel by hitting that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. And there are lots more where this one came from. Happy cooking and happy eating.